first of all the exterior look like I said before this ship is meant to be a puzzle carrier or a support cruiser what gives it away is these hangar ports again uh, I can see why it's called tririm it has those like ports for the rows and the thin narrow hole and this brow here with the bow it, it definitely I mean it looks like a dry rim I get it so like I said thin narrow hole um, the placement of these turrets it's ideal as a series on especially AAA against small fighters it covers the the port and starboard hemisphere of the ship so they're not meant to use as an offensive weapon anyway uh, you have this missile turret I would actually mirror it on the bottom I will replace this with another missile turret leave that there and again mirror it on the bottom so you have full missile coverage and I know the, the underbelly is really well armored but it doesn't hurt and that way you can rest assured that in any any state of rotation or tilt that you have the ship uh, you're gonna be covered by the rocket turrets now I don't see the standardized uh, airlock mm. ship seems to be off too is definitely uh, well armored and protected when it comes to the cowling of the thrusters a big navigation bridge that I guess doubles as a control tower for the craft coming in so let's teleport in and like I always do let's begin with the with the bow okay this is interesting we have no gravity okay a big carrier container on the bow. Now this ship does have forward facing rocket launchers and like I said before like ideally these ships are not designed to to face the enemy but this one does have this so and like I said before I'm gonna focus my suggestions on the classification and users of the ship and if this is going to be a support cruiser I would actually suggest to remove these ones and use um, these lighting doors as torpedo tubes, torpedo ports and maybe create in here in this space that is really big and lends itself to it a torpedo manufacturing uh, room so you, get, you could launch uh, some of the uh, script uh, guided torpedoes that are out there and of course remove this container and maybe add a smaller cluster of containers spaced out uh, divided with uh, blaster blocks to you know prevent the whole uh, clanging inside if this gets uh, burst now it's a uh, good work on the on this bulkhead right here message okay and um, we have empty space and this block that you see here that's the hangar this is just like the in-between spaces uh, you could use for corridors maybe role-playing spaces that you know don't need um, non-critical it has another large cargo container here and this is another big area this is the main the, the central hall of the ship now I would place that CIC here well armored since it is uh, right in front of the main access stairwell and it has access to both engineering and up here to the uh, navigation bridge and control tower so you have a centralized uh, stair here that leads you leads to access to, to all the sections of the ship and a protected CIC with two corridors on the sides okay we saw we saw the control tower there it's uh, still a bit empty let's go check out engineering and then move 
forwards. So the opposite we did with the Inquisitor. I like this. This access to engineering is interesting. Now this ship is a bit narrower than the Inquisitor, so you're gonna have, you know, closer quarters. Two jump drives. I would actually double that. This is a good idea. This is really good gyro placement. I would actually place those gyros on heavy armor or maybe on blaster blocks. Let's see, where are we? What's in here? Oh, okay, this is the protection for the, the attitude thrusters. That's a good idea. That's mm -hmm. a good placement for the, the reactors. I like this engineering station. Okay, if we go down. All the way down. This is a centralized cargo hold, three large cargo containers. And we'll get to the hangar. Now, again, let's take a look inside. These are layered light armor and then interior armor. The light armor has a 1.0 deformation index, so you may want to protect these cargo containers with blaster blocks or heavy armor, especially the angled type, so there's no damage transfer, no deformation transfer that could burst these containers. That effectively isolates the interior, the containers, from any damage that occurs and that could be, a, I mean, if the damage stops here, it stops here. It doesn't leak and seep through through the cargo containers. Now, so we have CAC here, cargo, maybe med bay here on the front. Now, this hangar, by having this, it would be depressurized, but I noticed that these um, landing pads are actually covered on the outside with heavy armor, so this is uh, a pressurizable area. Now, these are not very big. I would actually suggest having maybe an offset connector port on the top. Let's see. Maybe something Like this kind of well yeah and connecting the fighters or the drones from the top that would actually enable you to be able to fully repair them around them while they're docked since there's no space to run a conveyor line on the on the bottom and that would actually protect them if there's any impacts from below And yeah, I mean this this uh, the size of the door that is being used here. Um, I don't think a big dropship or troop carrier could fit. Maybe a smaller one. But what I see here is mostly for a smaller type fighters. And you could have two if you set them like this, then one facing that way and the other facing this way. By crisscrossing them, you can uh, maximize the space. Now you have one, two, three, four of this base. So, yeah. I think you could carry a lot. A lot more than um, most factions can afford. So, yeah, I, I would definitely dedicate this ship to be as a, a flagship. Uh, kind of carrier that can defend itself if need be. Let's try to get out. Okay, so so 
suggestions are, then let's, uh, let's mention that again so we don't forget. Uh, from the bow towards the, f uh, the back, guided missiles, since this is a ship that is not meant to be like on direct, the direct line of fire, but closer, closer than a carrier would be. So you could have like longer range uh, engagements using guided missiles. Maybe adding a script guided turret here. I mean, the space, uh, this has a lot of space here, so that could work too. Same deal on the bottom. Getting rid of the large cargo container that is inside. I like this um, array for defensive guns, that's fine. The fighter access ports are well protected, that's fine too. So I would do conveyors on the top. It's actually easier for the pilots, they just would like walk in on the on the level, like look up and access the cockpits. I wouldn't do any changes to these nacelles, seem to be protected enough. Uh, this is a good observation deck also, nothing to do there. Definitely um, do some kind of layered defense for the interior large carrier containers and the same for the CIC that I would place on top of it. Uh, maybe squeeze in, uh, reduce a little bit the size of the main access stairwell using smaller stairs. So to place the two extra jump drives that I would recommend and also to place gyroscopes on a harder block. And that would be it. So, well, I don't know what you guys think. Also, uh, if you have any comments, please um, send them over uh, to Coran, Conrad's way, uh, or post them in this uh, in this video. Any kind of constructive criticism that you can, you know, bring in is gonna be welcome. So, take care and keep playing.